But tonight at 11, statistics revealed by the United Way of the Roanoke Valley show overwhelmingly that people who are turning to charitable organizations to get by already have a job. The numbers show more than a third of families in the Roanoke Valley aren't making enough to afford basic necessities. WSLS 10's Rob Manch has the details for us tonight. So Rob, what does this trend mean for nonprofits like the United Way? Well, it means nonprofits are being asked to do more because the majority of the working poor, as they're called, make just enough that they don't qualify for federal programs like welfare or food stamps. And with federal budget cuts proposed next year, that reliance on charitable organizations could increase. More and more need in the 21st century is represented by what's known as the working poor. United Way President Avita DeFries says 37 percent of people working in the Roanoke Valley still need assistance. They're making more than what's considered federal poverty wage, but they're not making enough to meet the basic needs of their family. For those people, DeVries says the government has few safety net programs, but one that is offered by Roanoke County Social Services is daycare assistance. For the 2015-2016 fiscal year, that program served 117 families. That number grew last fiscal year to 204 families. For those who can't get government assistance, one of the first places they turn is the local food pantry. And we started seeing that a lot of the working families, um, part-time working, working without benefits, uh, the minimum wage hasn't really increased, but cost of living has. Pamela Irvine with Feeding America Southwest Virginia says in addition to more mouths to feed, nonprofits are seeing donations drop. We can tell you by the resources we see through donations and the people we serve, it just simply is not enough. Furthermore, the proposed federal budget has food stamps being cut by more than four and a half billion dollars. And if we see horrendous cuts, we don't have the resources to help the people that are going to be more dependent on the system. DeVries says to solve poverty in the 21st century, it's going to take nonprofits teaming up to meet the needs of families. If we get it right, we could be talking about completely different numbers in 10 years. Well, DeVries says right now the goal of the United Way is to help lift 10,000 families out of poverty and into self-sufficiency by 2030. In studio, Rob Manch, WSLS 10. All right.